Hey y'all. Okay, so I'm back with another video. This one is for uh, a facial mask and it's um it's honey oatmeal and water. And if you want the full recipe and the type of um oatmeal and the type of honey that I use, you can just go to my blog because I'm I'm blogging about it as I go through it. So, but I'm going to I'm doing this video to show how I apply it. And this is what it looks like. Okay, so it's kind of a pasty consistency. And so I'm just going to massage it on. And I have like a dry area in this area. So I'm hoping that the oatmeal will moisturize and the honey will moisturize that area. feels funny going on. I did this to my, um, one of my line sisters. I put this mask on her face last night. I was planning on doing it on myself, but we got busy and she was visiting and blah, blah, blah. So I was like, I'm supposed to be doing my facial and blah, blah, blah. And she was like, well, I want one, so I did her facial. I steamed her face, and then after I steamed her face with, um, I just steamed it with regular water and put rosemary, um, three drops of rosemary in the steam water. I let her hold her head over the bowl with a towel over it for about seven minutes. And then after, I um, did this face mask. And I just finished steaming my face as well. I steamed my face first. And I put three drops of rosemary. Sometimes I put rosemary sprigs in, but I just felt like using the um, drops this time. And it's the same result, really. Um, same feeling and everything, really. Okay, so that's pretty much on. It feels funny. And I ground up the, um, I ground up the oatmeal in my blender, and then I mixed it in with the other ingredients. So I still have a good amount left and I think I'm just going to put it in the fridge whoops, and save it for um, another day this week to do. So stay tuned. I'll be back once um, I'm going to let this sit on my face for 15 minutes, wash it off, and then I'm going to come back and show you what I do after, okay? Peace. Okay, so I've had it on for like a little more than 15 minutes because the oatmeal made me hungry so I had to go eat. So I guess that could be one not so good thing about doing this. So I'm about to wash it off. And I'll come back and show you guys what I do for my uh, r facial routine after I get this off, all right? Okay, so I just finished washing that off. And um, the one thing I noticed is that you're going to have to take your rag and kind of like loosen up the oats to get them off your face. Because if you're just rinsing your face, they won't come off that easily. You have to like take your rag and massage them off. So now I'm using, I'm about to tone my face. And I'm using my homemade facial toner. I mentioned it in another video, but if you want the link to how I made it, I'll put it in the video description box. Um, and um, yeah, you can check that out if you want to. So I'm just applying it. And an upward motion. And I like this because it, it doesn't burn my face and the peppermint in it makes my face feel so, I don't know, tingly and good. Okay. Okay, so done with that and so now I'm going to put my aloe vera gel on oh first in the morning I put on my Ambi fade cream and I just put it on my dark spots 
and I have a lot of dark spots so just put that on those all on my chin And I have these dark spots along the side of my face. So I just massage it into those. And you don't need a lot. Just like a little, little teeny bit. And just put it on the dark spots. Hmm. My face feels good though. It feels nice and like, it feels hydrated and it feels, like sometimes my face will feel a little dry but after I finish washing it and I know I need to put on moisturizer because um, it feels dry but today, I'm going to put on my moisturizer but it doesn't feel as dry as it feels after I usually finish washing. I think that was because of the oatmeal and honey. And for more on the benefits of oatmeal and honey, visit my blog. I'll put the link to um, the post for how to make it and everything in the video description box, just in case you want to check that out. So. These black spots on the top of my forehead. I don't know where this random breakout I had came from, but it was a, definitely a train wreck for my face. So, now I'm going to put on the aloe vera gel. I'm still using the same moisturizer until I get rid of it. It's the acne free. And I'm just trying to use it all up before I purchase another one. I was using the vitamin E liquid. But I just decided that I needed to get rid of the stuff that I had laying around the house for like a while. So I said let me get rid of all this old stuff. And start anew. So. So if I. I only put a pea size of that in my hand. And, and I um. Rub it all over, especially in the dry spot that I had here. And I don't know where that came from either. So, my face is done. And that's how I moisturize, steam, honey mask facial, my um, oatmeal mask facial my face. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them below. I enjoyed sharing this with you guys. If you have any recipes, homemade recipes, I love trying them. Please leave those below as well. Have a good day. Peace.